Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a little bit of an impromptu video today. I am actually um, filming two videos today, which I'm super excited about. But aside from that, I am doing an impromptu video, which is why I'm starting out bareface. And before we get into the video, I want to go ahead and let you guys know I am wearing outfit of the day. This is just a white tank top that came from Walmart. And this is my black leather skirt that came from Charlotte Russe. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so we are now in my bathroom. Um, I'm a mom, so I don't stay up to tune with a bunch of TikTok trends that are going on, that are going on. But when I hear some TikTok trends, yeah, I'm gonna listen to them and think about if I would use it or not. This one actually really caught my eye, which is why I wanted to make this video. Um, and it is the wet your makeup sponge and then freeze it for an hour and then do your makeup with it. I thought, wow, how genius! That actually seems like a really, really good idea, because you know. Um, if your skincare is cold, it's going to activate and work a lot better. And the under eye area is really going to work fairly well with cold products. I found that personally. And yeah, so it actually honestly seems like a really good idea. I've seen it a few times that I wanted to go ahead and do it myself because I've never tried a TikTok trend. And I also just brought out a new sponge. I used to use a Sonia Kashuk one, but I'm not using it anymore because it hit its three month mark at the beginning of December. So I switched it over to this one. So, yeah, and I'm not really a fan of this sponge so far. So let me go ahead and wet this sponge. So this is it wet. And whatever you sponge is wet. Um, I'm definitely going to have to try this sponge wet because I did not like it dry. It was very, very hard. It did expand pretty well, actually. So let's go ahead and put this in my freezer. Right, in my kitchen, let's go ahead and do this. See y'all in an hour. Alright, so just so you guys know, I went ahead and started the timer, which I don't even know if I can actually really show you, but it's at 59 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and sit here for 59 minutes, probably towards the end of it, start to do a little bit of my makeup because the only time I'm going to come on camera is to do my liquid highlight with the frozen sponge and my under eye concealer because I really hated that sponge for under eye concealer. So I'm going to see if maybe this worked and then tomorrow I'm definitely going to try and wet that sponge and see if I like the sponge better because I want to give that sponge a whole trial set trial time before I make a review on it. So anyways, I will see you guys in an hour. Okay, I just want to come on here and like update you guys on how long I have to wait. I have 44 minutes right now currently to wait until the sponge is done for raising. And again, of course, I am going to go ahead and do my make some of my makeup off camera and come back to do the sponge part with my highlight and of course my concealer. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys, I am going to do a serious overhaul of some makeup, like go into my makeup chest off camera in a couple of days and get some old makeup, like some Kylie Cosmetics powder or, um, palettes out and stuff like that. And I have a couple Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes, like the little mini ones that I hid somewhere in my makeup chest. And I was thinking of getting them out and adding them to my everyday kit just to have some more variety of palettes out to be continuously trying palettes and formulas and stuff like that. I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys want to see what all I added, like a bit dedicated video of what all I added to my everyday kit? Just like, let me know down below if you guys want to see that, because I would be interested in filming that, because it kind of seems like a good idea to show you guys like, hey, this is what's in my everyday kit now. I'm adding so much makeup to my everyday kit. I'm gonna have to declutter eventually. I have two pal or two boxes full of like makeup that I am gonna have to end up decl um, decluttering eventually, which I'm super excited to take you guys on an adventure with that. I've been loving declutter videos, so I've really been getting into a decluttering mood. I actually have a shelf over there dedicated to just products that I have decluttered off camera, which I did a declutter I what I've decluttered from my collection already video, and I've already gotten rid of most of it. I have two things left from my declutter that I have not gotten rid of, so. Yeah. You guys, I legit cannot. I am literally at 33 minutes um, until my sponge is done freezing for the hour. I cannot believe I'm doing this. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start on my makeup. I'm going to probably do everything except for, like, obviously my liquid highlight and concealer. So, like, start to get my base done. Um, just because I want to have, like, my base done completely, like, 
by the time the sponge is done freezing because I really want to give this a chance. So I'll be back. All right, so as you guys can see, I've already like started my makeup. I am at 23 minutes left until that beauty blender sponge is done for a reason. I just, um, Brandon had texted me, so I was watching a video to get doing some makeup, trying to figure out how I'm going to get some of my makeup done and then do the rest once the beauty blender is done freezing. I think I have a good plan, but Brandon had texted me in the middle of the video and he was, we were talking about, um, taking Kai and Jack's to the mall tomorrow because the mall that is behind this house my parents house actually has indoor parks and they just opened the indoor park and kai hasn't been able to go to a park so the savannah's playground park that's near here which he loves since like right after his birthday which was in july and kai has a lot of energy and he's getting his molars in recently like yesterday like as of yesterday i took him to the doctor he's getting his molars in so i want to do something nice for him and go play with him and brandon wants to bond with jackson because jackson can just sleep like in the car seat because he's a month old almost so yeah that's why i came back on here to update you guys on a time because I messaged Brandon so uh let me go continue to do my makeup I'll be back all right update I got 14 more minutes aside from that hey Jackson aside from that where did I put your bottle it's gonna make something aside from that um so I don't like the Ace Family. I've never liked the Ace Family. And I have my own opinions on this for whole for house foreclosure thing because Brandon and I have actually been searching for our own place. We have an apartment in the mix that we are fixing to move into. We ultimately decided to get an apartment instead of buying a house because houses are expensive. And we wanted to save a little money and get our own stuff the way we wanted it and we figured the best way for us to do that would be to get an apartment and save up more money than what we had in putting ourselves in a situation where we couldn't afford something so i have a lot to say about the ace family i think the ace family actually is blaming a builder and i think that they did fake they faked all that shit i really do because you can't actually like it's just so sketchy they're so sketchy i, I just feel like the ace family is so sketchy and i feel like it's not something that would be should be put above them to that they would not lie or the attention but at the same time like if your house is fucked up because of things you didn't do correctly before you moved in that doesn't give you the right to just not pay your bills like why don't you just pay your bills and then get a different contractor and then get the stuff fixed doesn't that make more sense, especially when they're, like, the most, like, famous family bloggers or something? I don't know. I just fed Jackson, and I'm at six minutes left until my hour frozen beauty blender is done for freezing. And my dad just got back with Kai also. So, yeah, and I'm pretty excited. I think we're going to take Kai to the park tomorrow, so, and Jackson, but Jackson's not going to be able to do anything. So, yeah, six more minutes. Can't wait for this test. All right, you guys, I'm at three minutes left until my beauty blender is done for freezing, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. I kind of finished as much of my makeup as I could without my concealer and liquid highlight on, but I wanted to go ahead and come on here and talk to you guys about some of my favorite brushes and what I like to use them for. So these are my number one favorite, favorite, favorite brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and show, um, tell them to you guys. So this is the Luxie 209 Large Shader Brush. I got this in a BoxyCharm, but I'm pretty sure you can get like BoxyCharm's Luxie sh um, brush sets on um, Poshmark and stuff like that. So this is a brush I love to apply eye primer with and I like to set my eye primer with it. It's my favorite brush to apply eye primer and set with. I did use it today. I also used it to apply my brow bone highlight up there. I used the glass wet from the Jeffree Star Mini Orgy palette to not only set for a little extra highlight but also to do that to brighten this look up a little bit because I did try out this L'Oreal Infallible Metallics Paint in the shade 404 Caged. I've never used this before. This is what I tried out today. And on my lips, I have Kat Von D's Hawkwind. Or not Kat Von D's, KVD Beauty, Vegan Beauty or whatever it's called now. It's Hawkwind. So that's what's on my lips. All right, next, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it because it's a broken brush, but I love it so much. It's the Luxie. 
250 large eye blending brush again it came in a boxy charm i'm pretty sure you can get boxy charms luxie brush that's on poshmark i this is my favorite crease brush even though it is broken i will probably glue this one day but i love using this in the crease this just applies my crease colors so well and just everywhere and it blends so super duper easily um i used my bronzer today in my crease which is from this little ulta beauty kit right here i used obviously my bronzer it's right there it's the shade warm i really like this bronzer I also use this Alamar Cosmetics. I think this is a flat shader brush, but it, it's so old and broken up. Um, it doesn't have the name or number in it, on it anymore. This is my favorite brush to apply lid colors with. I love brushes like this. This is what I used to apply caged today. Um, and it went pretty well. I did not wet cage. That's probably why it looks kind of like dull on camera. Um, I think it actually looks pretty dull in real life, but I'm not really planning to do anything today. I have to film another video. That's about it. This is a no-name brush that I got for Christmas a few years ago. This is honestly my favorite brush to apply my brow product with, which I use my Maybelline brow tattoo brow studio thing and 250 Blonde Blonde that I always use. This brush, honestly, in my opinion, um applies my brow product and makes my brows super skinny as opposed to any other brow brush that I have which is why this is my favorite brow brush and it might be the fact that it's longer with the shape like this next is this wet n wild rebel rose brush I have been using the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer so I actually apply that with my finger which I'm sure you guys will see in another video because I'm pretty sure I have a makeup tutorial coming that I'm going to be filming let me go check Okay, so I literally only have like 10 seconds left, so I'm going to go ahead and end that timer because I don't need it anymore. Because I'm going to just go, ahead. okay, yeah, so tomorrow's video, I'm going to be filming a My Current Battle with Depression. And then I'm going to have a Mask It Day video I'm going to film the next day, and then I'm going to do my Christmas makeup tutorials that are becoming. So I do have makeup tutorials that I will be filming soon, so you will see me using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and I'll be able to give you guys my opinions on it because I have some thoughts. This is the second day I've used it, though. But this is a really good foundation brush. I've also used it to blend out my cream contour right here. So, like that. And two more brushes before I go get my beauty blender. So this is the Eco Tools. This is like a pencil brush. This is my favorite brush to apply product on the lower lash line. I haven't used it yet, but it really will blend out a smoky eye and make it really nice. And then this also came in a boxy charm. This is a Royal and Lane Nicole Moda brush. I like to use this for blush and also highlight. Again, I'm pretty sure you can get these on Poshmark because it came in a boxy charm. So I'm going to go get that sponge. Okay, I'm back. My dad was just telling me about um, Kai's little trip. I got a beauty blender. You guys, I half expected this to be stuck to my, um, like, the front, like, the, the part of the freezer. This is so, it's like a block of ice. Like, right here is actually, like, it's soft. Here, it's not soft. But it was sitting on this part, so I guess that that makes sense that it's soft. But this is like a block of fucking ice. Oh, my God. Is this really going to work? Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared because I already don't have good feelings about this sponge. Um, okay. I'm going to take my Tarte Tardius Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter and Expose that I use every day that I'm getting low on. For some reason, all my stuff decided to run out at the same time. Jackson, that's a red face. I don't like that face. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Okay, um, so I usually use this for the concealer side, I don't, and this is like for my highlight. I think I'm going to use the hard side for the highlight today, because I don't want to put this under my eyes, and it expanded so big, I don't actually think I can. Oh my god, this is so cold. God. Maybe if I use like an actual beauty blend, like shaped beauty blender sponge, this would work better. I don't know. Oh my god. I mean, it's 
honestly blending the same way I'm used to it blending. It's not doing anything super duper magical. It's just like really cold on my face. Like so cold. I get literally feels like I'm hitting my face with ice. Like hard ice. I don't even think it's soaking up product. Yeah, it's barely soaking up any product. Which is kind of nice. But at the same time, I like having a sponge that's going to soak up product to get the excess product off. But the highlight applied the same way I'm used to, so I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and go for that. So, um, one of the reasons I wanted to make this video today, I'm going to use my LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer in CC569 Fair. I am retiring this after this video, so you guys will never see me use this again. Well, that's a lie. You might see me use up this again. I might purchase a new one. Um, but yeah, I will... Brandon's telling me what I need to pack for the boys. I haven't done this already. But anyways, this is the last day I will be using this. I'm so excited like scared I've really enjoyed this concealer um, I haven't the past couple of days using this sponge but I have really enjoyed this concealer so I will be debuting in my video that I film tomorrow a new concealer I'm actually gonna use one of Jeffree Star's um, color correctors I've never ever been into color correcting so I'm gonna give it a try because I purchased the lavender color corrector because I actually like lavender colored powders. Which I just filmed my face powder collection yesterday which you guys know if it's up it's not gonna be up before this but when you see that you guys will know I got a problem with makeup but I, I like lighter colors like lavender and stuff like that like I like brightening colors so anyways this is oh my god Okay, so like in this middle part, I can actually feel there is ice in here. So there was, so the I the water that was inside this did freeze, and oh my god, it's melting pretty fast actually. I'm gonna take the softer side since this is going under my eye. Going to sleep. I'm talking to my dad about my brother, so I am gonna go ahead and. The only thing I don't like about this sponge is that it makes it super duper hard to get in the inner corner. Like, so hard. So, like, and it makes weird bumps. Yeah, I mean, I can't even blend out my concealer in the inner corner because of this sponge being the way it is. Which is one of the reasons I don't like this sponge. So, uh, I'm not noticing anything spectacular, and it's not like, I mean, the cooling sensation under my eyes definitely feels nice, it feels weird, I've never done this before. It's kind of like extra skincare when you think about it. Yeah, I think that this is meant to be like an extra soothing step, skincare-wise. I'm going to go ahead and see how my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 100 Translucent sets on top of this concealer to see if there's anything different since my eyes are kind of cold right now. I'm just taking my LMR Cosmetics Brightening Brush. Because honestly, I waited an hour to do my makeup and film this video. And I don't actually think that this TikTok trend did anything spectacular other than, like, give a soothing sensation to the under eye. So, basically, it can be used as, like, an extra skincare step when you think about it. Alright, let me go ahead and go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, which isn't that much. And then I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and let you guys know that this TikTok trend, honestly, was... A lot of fun to do but aside from that um i don't think it actually made a difference in the application of my makeup in the pigmentation of my makeup i think that it's honestly just meant to be a soothing step that can be an extra addition to a skincare routine while you're doing your makeup but then do you really want to wait the hour for your beauty blender to freeze or you can just have a beauty blender in your fridge or in your freezer permanently to get it out leave it in there all day and get it out when you're going to do your makeup. So anyways, that's how I feel about this trend. Please like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!